estimate is generally going to govern a couple things. So it's generally going to be real estate that you own individually. So that could be uh, individually owned property that has always been individually owned, or if you are a surviving spouse that's received, you know, the entireties of the property. Uh, after you go, uh, if you pass away, your uh, will is going to control who the beneficiaries of that property is. The last will and testament ends up being the new link in the chain of title that conveys good title to whoever your beneficiaries are. So generally, for instance, if you have you know two kids, your kids are going to be the named beneficiaries under your will, and the will is going to give them 50% tenant common interests in your property. It's also going to govern things that have your name on it that don't have transfer on death rights of survivorship or beneficiary designations on them. So things like cars, individual bank accounts, those sort of things, stock certificates, uh, any any sort of accounts that are in your name on your date of death that don't have a transfer me- transfer mechanism internally built into it, right? So things like 401ks and life insurance and those sort of things are generally not probate assets because they've got usually primary and secondary beneficiaries. If those beneficiary designations are defective, then those assets can fall into probate uh, because there's no uh, internal transfer mechanism. The will then is required to change the name on those assets. And that's generally what the probate process is. It's the changing of names from a deceased to their beneficiaries.